Ultron is going to be returning in the upcoming Vision Quest series, following White Vision facing an identity crisis as he grapples with the memories of the original Vision who was last seen in WandaVision. But how exactly does Ultron return and why? Let's break down today's theory as I know exactly why and how Ultron returns to the MCU in Vision Quest and how it all connects to the Agatha All Along Disney Plus series dropping on September. September 18th. Now, to really get into this theory, we have to discuss what exactly has Ultron been up to since his defeat back in Avengers Age of Ultron. And well, if you don't count What If and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, then at least in the Sacred Timeline, Ultron has been pretty much up to a whole lot of nothing. Since the last we saw Ultron in action was when Ultron and his Ultron bots were defeated by the Avengers on Sokovia and in his desperate attempt at escaping, he runs into Vision. They have a little chat of ideals about humans and their inevitable doom, and Vision destroys Ultron, ending him for good. Well, not exactly. The last time we really see Ultron is actually in Spider-Man Homecoming. Ultron makes a brief cameo in the movie when Peter gets stuck in the damage control deep storage vault. Spider-Man tries to find a way out and looks into the Vulture's bag for anything that can help him escape the vault, and he finds Ultron's head. Which this not only implies that Spider-Man single-handedly inadvertently saved the world from Ultron coming back, but because Ultron's eyes were glowing red, this meant that he was still alive as any time Ultron quote-unquote died in Age of Ultron, his eyes would stop glowing and in Spider-Man Homecoming, his eyes glowed red. For the most part, Spider-Man Homecoming confirmed that this was the last surviving piece of Ultron still out in the world that we know of and that Ultron was still alive. So we know Ultron is alive and all, but why does Ultron return in Vision Quest? Well, I think White Vision is going to seek out Ultron while on his quest to finding his new purpose in life, since we know that the Vision Quest show is about White Vision facing an identity crisis as he grapples with the memories of the original Vision, and what better place for him to start than with the being who created him, that being his father. Ultron Ultron. As we know, at the end of WandaVision, White Vision found out that his memories were being kept from him so that he would be more susceptible to Hayward's programming. Hex Vision then touches White Vision's forehead, allowing the memories of Vision to flow through White Vision, essentially showing Vision his time with the Avengers, his relationship with Wanda, and of course his own death to where White Vision, after the whole Ship of Theseus discussion between the two, came to the conclusion that he is vision. He then flew off and hasn't been seen since. It's clear that from this, Ultron is going to play a major role in how Vision comes to terms with this new life he has been given, as Ultron is probably the only other being on the planet that can truly understand his situation. And knowing that he has the memories of Vision, he tracks down Ultron, finds him in the damage control vault, and takes his head to discuss why they were created and their purpose purpose for living. Though, I can really see Ultron twisting everything thanks to his hate for humans and using the fact that White Vision had his memories kept from him so that he can be, as White Vision stated in WandaVision, a weapon to be more easily controlled. Since one of the last things Ultron ever told Vision in Age of Ultron was that Stark asked for a savior and settled for a slave, referencing both himself and Vision in that moment, to which Vision responded, with them both being disappointments to their fathers. Ultron is going to double down on White Vision's purpose only being a weapon that can be controlled, leading to Ultron trying to control Vision and take over his body, and this is what I feel is going to lead Vision back to Wanda. It's important to keep in mind that Vision Quest is going to be a sort of continuation of Wanda Vision and Agatha all along, as what ties them all together is Wanda herself. At at the end of WandaVision, Wanda strips Agatha of her magic and makes her live the rest of her life as Agnes. In Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, Wanda seemingly dies. Then in Agatha all along, Wanda's death is being investigated by Agatha with her being identified as Jane Doe, but is then revealed to be W. Maximoff, and Agatha is
is then freed from Wanda's spell by a mysterious teen, which has been confirmed to be... I'm <laughs> All right, I'm joking, but it was already revealed by Marvel themselves in a trailer that the teen is going to be Billy Maximoff, aka Wanda's son. But I will say Marvel does tend to do wacky stuff in their trailers, so it could still not be Billy, but for the sake of the video, it's Billy. And it's already been confirmed that what happens in Agatha all along is going to tie into Vision Quest in some way. So maybe in Vision Quest, Vision goes off to find Wanda's body, aka Jane Doe, or depending on what actually happens in Agatha all along, after Agatha goes through the trial of the Witch's Road, Vision could just be heading to find Wanda herself alive, as Wanda was the only person who didn't treat Vision like a weapon or try to control him. Hex Vision doesn't count. Then Vision on his quest could potentially run into Tommy and help Vision find his mother. That's pretty much all I have right now for what we could potentially see in Vision Quest. It's still a ways out from release and we still got Agatha coming out on the 18th, which is most likely going to reveal some huge things about Wanda's current status in the MCU, what Billy and her children are doing in this universe, and overall world building for the more mystic side of the MCU. Let me know your thoughts about the theory and Ultron's return to the MCU in the comment section below. I know I'm excited to see Ultron get another shot at being a villain. I still think the animated film Next Avengers Heroes of Tomorrow is my favorite Ultron story, so I'm hoping Ultron does something wild when he comes back to the MCU. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to Hulk smash that like button, and if you are new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you don't miss any MCU related theory videos and I'll see you all in the next one.